750 million people tuned in as Diana got out of the royal carriage in 1981 and walked into St. Paul's Cathedral, showing off her stunning gown to the world. It was also huge, it was vast. Um, and it felt like I was being sewn into a house. Playing Princess Diana, Emma Corrin now steps into Diana's stunning dress, and creating it for the crown was no easy task. It was kind of made over a long period of time, and I had about four or five fittings, and each of them was like many, many hours. And it was kind of, it built a very intimate relationship between me and these, this piece of clothing. Diana's real dress was exquisite, made with 10,000 pearls, antique lace, and a 25-foot train. To recreate it, the show actually consulted with the original designers, David and Elizabeth Emmanuel. The replica took 600 hours to make. We wanted her to look like everybody's vision of a fairy tale princess. Back in 2007, Elizabeth told us that she worked right up until the final moments before the wedding. I'm trying to straighten the, the top skirt and make sure nothing's going to come apart. Because if you can imagine, she had, well, she had a train which actually threaded through the top of the dress and hooked up underneath. And it occurred to me, what if it becomes detached in the oh, ceremony, okay. that as she walks down St. Paul's, she leaves the train behind. God, how so I'm double sewing and pinning. Yeah. You know, we're trying to think of absolutely everything that could go wrong so we'd be prepared. In the show, you see the back of her, the outfit. That's the first time I saw it. Josh O'Connor plays a young Prince Charles, and his first look at Emma as Diana shocked him and seems to have left him a little tongue-tied. I was kind of amazed that they made this, like, in the wedding rehearsal with this trail using sort of old bits mm. of material to um, replicate the trail. Is it called the trail? What, train. The train. <laughs> train. Um, thank God.